Hi, and welcome to another edition of Daz's Arcade Games. Of course, I'm Daz, and tonight we're going to be doing a gameplay. <coughs> sorry, a gameplay on Galaxian, but, but but we're going to be doing the Midway version of Galaxian, made in 1979. It was originally released by Namco in um, Japan. But the version that we got to play over here in Australia was the Midway version. Now, <clears throat> pardon my voice. Um, I can remember playing this in front of Kmart. There was a Galaxian machine, an Asteroids machine, and an Astro Fighter machine in front of Kmart when I was a young kid. So every time we went there, Mum and Dad used to give me a few 20 set pieces and I'd throw in throw them in the machines and, and just have a bit of fun while they did their shopping. Depending on their mood though. Um, now, as far as this game's concerned, it's known worldwide. It's one of the most famous shooters in the world. Um, apart from Space Invaders, I guess. It's, it's a variant of Space Invaders, but rather than the aliens creeping down at you, they swoop you and fire a lot of bullets at you as well. It's hard as nails um, and and it is a game that I don't find very easy, unlike the world record holder who scored about 2 million and 10 points and 10,000 points on this game. He may, he actually makes this game look so easy, but I'm nowhere near at that level and yeah, I never will. He's just so good. Um, as far as ports go, it was ported to a lot of computers and, and console systems as well, but mainly the old computers. Had some good versions, had some not so good versions, like the Atari one on the Commodore 64, I didn't find that good, even though it looked authentic, it was very slow, yet yeah, there was one called Galaxians, and I can't remember who made that, that looked really, really good, the sprites were big, and it was fast, and it was hard, but yeah, but that was fun, um, then of course, it's been re-released on, on your Android phones, and all that sort of stuff, yeah, like in today's modern world on consoles, Xbox Live, all that kind of thing. And I think the Xbox Live one, they actually did one where they messed with the graphics a bit and made it look okay too. Um, but I still prefer this. You know, playing this game on an arcade machine, the way it's meant to be played, nothing beats it. So let's give this a go. Alright, so we're ready to go. A few things to note. Um, just a left to right shooter, one button, fire button. That's your flagship. Generally accompanied by two red ones. You shoot the two red ones in the flagship, that's 800 points. 40 for him, 30 for him. Double the points if they're flying. Now with the flagships, if you shoot one first in the flagship, 300 points. Flagship by itself, 150. Providing it's moving. If you miss it when it's coming down by itself though, it will disappear and reappear on the next level. Sorry about my husky voice, I think I do have a little, little bit of a cold. So let's see how we can go. Now remember this is the midway version of this game. I believe this is set for an extra man at 5,000 points. Most Galaxian machines on the hardest settings are set at 7. But I, but I really don't think that matters too much. And remember that if you can, get the 800 points and then you, you do get a little bit of a breather. Not for long, but just enough time to get your senses back about you. Okay, there's another 800 pointer. Now, if you just slick your ship back and forward, you should be able to keep shooting them while they're not moving. Now, just don't get caught in the corners. There's one, and we'll just let him go by. Dropped a few more bullets on me than I wanted, and that's the end of the first run wave. But now it gets harder. Because, because what you'll find is that it'll drop more than one at you at a time now. And then here comes the flagship again. And there we go. And there's our extra man. Now 
Now, as I said, this game can get pretty hard. And I would have liked the flagship then just to give me that, that little break again. But I didn't get it. So hopefully next time, and maybe next time, he might come down a bit slower as well. And there's our 800 pointer. And now, when these two stop, they should give me a bit of a break. And now, if I can be accurate, I can take out lines of them at a time. Now there's two. We'll get that one. And hopefully, we'll get that one. Two down. So now the game will amp up a bit, but it won't get up to the, um, uh, um, to the maximum difficulty level yet. Now, just missed my flagship then. And now, and now I will get I'll, we'll get that tiny break, and if I can get my ship in the right spot, I can take out levels on it. Which is always a handy thing in this game. And there we go again. Now, I would like to have, have got those guys first. Because now I'm, I'm, I'm in a little bit of danger of getting caught in the corner. We'll take him out and him, and that's the third flag done. But now the game will get harder. As I said, I find this game pretty hard. And there are other versions of this game too. There's actually one called Galaxy X on here as well, where after the first two levels, I think you get about eight flagships. And we'll just stay away from that flagship at the moment. And away from them, because that could have been a big strike for me. Again, I couldn't quite get to the flagship then, and I just shot it. So now, well, that means I have to do the rest of this level with no break. And it will amp up and get harder now. So we just got to be careful, try and stay in the centre and don't get caught in the corners like I just did. And I was very lucky to get out of that. And I was very lucky to clean up that level. Okay, now I'll start sweeping from both sides and I was not aware of that. And I just got caught in the middle straight away. Not a good move on my behalf. And we'll take out that flagship and try and clear up some of this level. And I've done it again. So maybe I'm losing the plot a little bit here because this game is quite hard. But that's twice I've been caught in bad spots. and as you can see they're kind of going nuts on me. Now here comes that flagship and we'll take that and we'll clear up the level. Let's see if I can do a better job on this level. And that's a much better start. really liked that flagship then but he was he was in a bit of an awkward spot for me. Again I I missed that flagship and we need to get out of that corner right now. Okay there he is again and I missed him 
But as you can see, I'm just getting cornered by them now. They've really amped it up and they've really ran a muck on me. But as I said, exceptionally hard game. But there's the flagship and we'll just take him out, I think. Okay, so that's through six. So up to the seventh. I'm actually starting to feel that I could have had a much better game here. See, like if you play Galaga or Gallagher, as a lot of people call it, um, you have enough firepower to take out most of the level when they start getting angry. With this one, because of the lack of firepower and of course of the fact that you only get one bullet on the screen at a time, it actually makes it very difficult to take a lot of them out. What I need to do, I need that end one. And because I was concentrating on him so much, I almost got caught in the corner by them. Okay, there's our little friend, that flagship, and we got him. So now what we need to do is take out as many of these guys as we can right now. And I missed that red one, which can be the nasty one to get, but we got him and we got through the rack. But as you can see, this game is amping up on me. And that was a good shot. Very happy with that one. Scored myself a little break to clean up some of them. Because they will just, just run amok on me. As you can just see there. That's the end of Galaxian by Midway. Ah, uh, 24-540. Yeah, that's not too bad an effort for me on this game. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of people get a lot smaller scores than that on this game. So, it isn't a bad game. It, it's a game that I really enjoy. As I hear my dog barking in the background again, always decides to bark when I'm doing a video. I guess such the nature of the beast. But like I said, um, this is a very, very enjoyable game. It's one that I've had a lot of fun with in the past, and I still have a lot of fun with it now. I think that's a decent gameplay. You know, like, it's a high score attempt, but I hope I explained a bit about the game and people learn of, of some of the mechanics about the game and maybe even learn how to play this game a little bit. Um, you know... Like I said, it's a tough game. I've got I've actually watched the guy who actually owns the world record on this game and um, He's just incredible Don't know how he does it with such consistency What I think he does is that he creates patterns out of it and uh, he knows exactly how they're coming down and that's how he does it But I'm not good enough for that so um, That will be the end of another episode of of Daz's arcade games, and I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you if you like my channel, please press the subscribe button. If you like the video, um, press the like button. And also, please comment. Um, comments are really important, you know, because I really enjoy what I'm doing here. And yeah, and 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 the more feedback I get, the better. So, I will see you all next time when I do my next video. Bye.